Hello everyone, today I'm making a new video. I hope you subscribe. I get already 180 subscribers and I hope you subscribe and like and, like and subscribe me as I get 181 subscribers. <laughs> So, so thank you for watching this video and now you will hear in a story okay, the story of three tops twin wilderness adventure so here the three top twins wilderness adventure the sun beat down on the dizzling savanna and the grasses hummed with busy insects. The three top family have taken their time machine and traveled back in time to the 18th century to the grassland of South Africa. One bright blue day, the big twins Alfie and Asha were looking after the little twins Tulip and Ted. Their parents Professor Pablo and Professor Penelope were taking a nap. When the professor woke up, it also the Trita family were going to spend the evening at the nearby water hole to see what animals were living in the in the African savanna at the time. There be cheetahs, said Asha. And ostriches, said Alfie. And lions and elephants, said Ted. Don't forget the unicorns, said Tulip. You're not eating, Jace. Eat also. Don't be silly, said Ted. Only babies believe in unicorn. Alfie and Asha were laughing too, which made Tulip very cross. I show them what I'm not a baby, said Tulip to herself. I'll go down to the water hole and look for unicorns on my own. So when when the others weren't looking, Tulip decided to walk to the water hole by herself. She found a hill to hide behind and duck down out of sight. From the hiding place, she spotted an ostrich and a wild beast and a herd of creatures she had never seen be before. Tulip couldn't see them properly because there were some trees in the way. From the side, they looked a little bit like horses, but they were such smaller, so they must be a... Unicorn, said Tulip triumphantly. I knew it. Meanwhile, Alfie and Asha and Ted had noticed that Tulip was missing. They woke up Professor, Professor Pablo and Professor Penelope, and they are all hurried to the water hole. They gripped up very quietly so that so as not to disturb the others, the other animals, and peered over Tulip's shoulder. I'm sorry I called you a baby, whispered Ted. I am sorry I ran off without telling you where I'm going, whispered Tulip. But look, I, I did found some unicorn. Just then, one of the strange creatures turned towards them, and it did not have a horn. Oh, said Tulip, feeling very disappointed. It isn't a unicorn after all, but did, uh, did have something else interesting. It had, it had stripes. But not all over it, just on the front half. It's a quagga, 
said Professor Finelope. It's about the size of the zebra, but with stripe only the front half of the body. Why is it called quagga? asked Tulip. The quagga opened up its mouth and made a noise, quagga. That must be why, grinded Ted. The quagga had made that noise for a reason. There were three beautiful golden lionesses padding towards the waterhole. The lionesses prodded closer, but the quaggas had already been alerted. Quagga! They cried as they all ran away, all except for one a baby who couldn't run quite fast enough. Oh no! said Tulip. They're going to be catch it. But then, something amazing happened. A great big wildebeest beast So the baby quagga was in trouble. It also, it stepped forward and hooked its enormous horns at the lionesses. The lionesses were scared and now it was their turn to run away. Pew, said Alfie. Why did a big wildebeest save the baby quagga? We all have to look after the babies, even if they aren't ours, said Asha, putting her arm around Tulip. I'm not a baby, said Tulip. But she smiled and hugged Asha anyway. And then it, the, the Trita family walked back home through the cooling grass for di dinner. Nighttime in Savannah, Professor Pablo was putting the twins to bed. I'm so glad we got a travel back in time and meet the quaggas, said Asha who had drawn a picture of one on her notebook. Me too, said Professor Pablo, turning the light off. Sorry, it wasn't a unicorn, Tulip, but it was almost a good. I wonder what year and what place we'd have to be traveled to see the uni a unicorn, said Tulip to herself. One day, I'll find a unicorn. Just wait and see. Snip, snap, snoot. So gonna salute. I'm gonna say the name. The name of what? 